Admiral Broadway Review, brought to you by your Admiral dealer. Demand to see for Admiral dual temp refrigerators, Admiral electric ranges, Admiral radios, phonographs, and magic mirror television. It's the Admiral Broadway Review County Fair. blend of song, dance, and comedy takes you to a county fair. One day more, hear me as I call. One week in the year, you know, when the fair is near, we go. Come along, gather round, and we'll all go to town. The fair is here. He'll take us there to the county fair. We came here at 9 o'clock in the morning, and it's getting dark. We're going home. Are you afraid of the dark, Pop? Of course I'm not afraid of the dark. Then why are we going home? Because I'm tired. But 
the matter? Pop, can't you take it anymore? I guess he's not as young as he used to be. I yeah, he's getting old, Pop. I get... It won't be long now. All right, all right. Where do you want to go? You want to go on the Ferris wheel? What's a Ferris wheel? What's a big thing that goes around in the road? Are you married or not? No, a goes up and down. Up and down like this. But, Daddy, if it goes round and round, how can go up and down? Well, it's down and it goes both ways, you understand? Why? Because that's the way they made it. Who it? made it? The people who make the amusements, they made it. The amusement, the amusement's uh, uh, everything around here is an amusement. Daddy, uh, Daddy, is that door over there with the sign <coughs> on the top, is that an amusement? No, darling, that's a... Uh, you know perfectly well what that is. Oh, look, Daddy, the people are shooting. <laughs> what are they shooting? They're shooting ducks. Real ducks? No, make-believe ducks, darling. Why do they make believe the ducks? They don't make believe the ducks. The people make believe the ducks are ducks. Why do the people want to be ducks? The people don't want to be ducks. They make believe the ducks are ducks. But, Daddy, if the ducks are ducks, why do people make believe the ducks? Because they're not made the deal. <laughs> the people make the ducks who make the people. The people who are known, the ducks will come. The ducks stop the people. <laughs> Let's go home. I want to go on the ferry. All right, we'll go on the ferry. All right, we'll go on the ferry. I want to go on the ferry. All right, we'll go on the ferry. All right, all right. All right. All right. Let's go home. I'm going to go on the shoot to shoot. You can't go on the shoot to shoot. It, 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 it makes you scared. How do you know it does? Because uh, I was on one and I was scared. But, Daddy, if people get scared, why do they go on the shoot to shoot? Because people are crazy and they like are to be scared. Are you crazy? No, of course I'm not crazy. <laughs> then why did you go on it? <laughs> All right, I'm crazy. So I want to be crazy and go no, on it, too. You can't be crazy. You're too young to be crazy. Why? You don't know it's a dangerous thing. It goes way up in the air. And then it comes down. Really fast, you feel that your stomach is going to burst out. Oh, and then everybody thinks they're going to be killed. And they all scream. Ah! And then it goes into a dark alley. Really dark. And it's all seeing all kinds of faces. And then a long hand comes out and grabs it. And you scream. Ah! He is crazy. Hey, <laughs> Pop, do you feel all right? I feel fine. I thought you were tired. I am tired. I'm tired and I'm hungry and I want you to go home. You're hungry, Daddy? I want to eat my hot dog. Get I some of the ice cream, Dad. I don't want it. I want some food. Oh, is this food? Of course not. Well, what is it? Food. Then eat it. Oh. Oh. Orange juice. shake. A shake? Of course. Both. It's been very crude to you, old man. Why? It should be a shake. Both of you. Give me a hot dog without any mustard. Oh, is that the way you want it?
present Miss Janet Collins in After the Mardi Gras. gentlemen, for the wrestling match of the age. You are going to see absolutely and positively the greatest single attraction at the county fair. We are presenting tonight that one and only Mr. Gorgeous America. Mr. Gorgeous America will test his strength and agility against none other than the Purple Wasp. 
Ladies and gentlemen, step right inside now for the wrestling match of the age. Absolutely the greatest attraction at the county fair. Ready to begin right away. Ladies and gentlemen, in this corner we have the Greek champion, Hercules Tragus, and his opponent, the great sensation, Gorgeous America. <laughs> both know the rules of wrestling. I don't want unnecessary rough. When I say break, I want you to break and break clean. I don't want any kicking, no biting, no gouging, no punching. Now Come shake hands. Here. Stop. Wait a while. Wait a while. Wait a while. Now shake hands and maybe the best man win. The best man. All right. Hurry. <laughs> I say, we're going to rest. Just a moment, I'll be right with you. Stop watching my hair. He's going to my neck my hair. Girl disc jockey, Miss Fanny Slipperfist, entertains you every night from 
10 p.m. until 10 a.m. It is now 5 a.m. and our Fanny is still going strong. So, take it away, Fanny Flippadip.
wave of popularity for East Indian dancing. Well, now, as you know, in this type of dancing, every little movement has a meaning all its own. Having made a vast study of the subject, I would like to tell you what some of the movements mean. May I demonstrate for you the ancient Hindu ritualistic dance, the Krishnamurti. But before I begin, permit me to elucidate. The Krishnamurti is not easy to comprehend or even to understand. <laughs> that is at first glance, or even second glance, or third glance, or fourth. Well, perhaps the fourth, but not the third. <laughs> Be that as it may, and it is quite possible in Krishnamurti. Hmm. Every little meaning has a movement all its own. <laughs> Which in Hindustani means for example. This means go away. While this also means go away. <laughs> <laughs> Only farther. <laughs> and this means get away, boys, you bother me. <laughs> now in this dance, which I selected you for you, you will see me do this. That severely means that once upon a time the ancient god Siva had a beautiful daughter who one day went walking through the forest where she met an elephant. But a sorcerer who lurked nearby cast a spell. Whereupon the beautiful daughter turned into the elephant, and the elephant turned into the beautiful daughter, and the sorcerer turned home, only to be greeted by his wife with these words, where have you been all day? And the sorcerer replied, lo, I have been wreaking vengeance, whereupon his wife replied, that's not the only thing you reek of, you drunkard. Which brings us to the next movement. Now, in this dance, which I selected you for you, you will see me do this. and Gower Champion attend a county fair.
ladies and gentlemen, Admiral presents Sid Caesar. Ladies and gentlemen, there's a certain type of nightclub that features the rhythm of the samba. And you'll notice that in front of each one of these bands, there's one fellow who has the roughly sleeves and the maracas. And he's always so alive, always around. He's always making everybody so happy. Well, I'd like to, uh, I'd like to show you a page in one of these samba singers. You know, singing this, the samba night after night, day in and day out, all the time, that rhythm it's kind of creeps into your system. So I'd like to show you the life of a samba singer from the time he leaves his job to get married, his wedding, his honeymoon, and his married life, and how it affects his work. You take this man for your husband, but 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 you take this man
boys about, why the half cheering? Ray! Why do they stand and shout? Why do they scream? Ray! It's the final inning, the other team is winning. Enter the pride of the Tenderville team. Lucky McNeil, Lucky McNeil. It's a cinch in a pitch, we need Lucky McNeil. Is at the plate, ready to deliver. His team is counting on Lucky's good aim. But some pretty creatures are smiling from the bleachers. See how they're taking his mind off the game. Lucky McNeil, ain't it a shame? Keeping your mind on a game, not the game. was at stake. No to the contrary, he stole a glance at Mary and remembered a picnic one day by the lake. Was beside the lake over milk and cake when our Mac fell in love with Mary. He asked her to change her name, she said, win the game. Then he pledged his love over bat and glove. She was flattered but still quite wary. She said, yes, I'll change my name. a pin drop. All eyes were glued upon Lucky McNeil. But in that second, and out the memory beckoned, Luella in her brand new automobile. In my carriage, horses carriage, you and I will be the envy of them all. Through the city, sitting pretty, we will hurry to the park where you play ball. You will make a hit to two or three. And I know that you'll be playing just for me. Just for you. In my carriage, horse of carriage, while we're speeding through the streets so merrily. In my carriage, think of marriage. When you hit the ball, you'll make a hit with me.
think of Pickerville. Think of the honor of your profession. I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Lucky, oh, lucky. For dual temp refrigerators, electric ranges, radios, record players, and magic mirror television, brings you another star studded Admiral Broadway review.
East Indian dancing. Well, now, as you know, in this type of dancing, every little movement has a meaning all its own. Having made a vast study of the subject, I would like to tell you what some of the movements mean. May I demonstrate for you the ancient Hindu ritualistic dance, the Krishnamurti. But before I begin, permit me to elucidate. The Krishnamurti is not easy to comprehend or even to understand. <laughs> that is at first glance, or even second glance, or third glance, or fourth. Well, perhaps the fourth, but not the third. Be that as it may, and it is quite possible in Christian Murti. Mm. Every little meaning has a movement all its own. <laughs> Which in Hindustani means, for example, this means go away, while this also means go away. <laughs> <laughs> Only farther. <laughs> and this means get away, boys, you bother me. <laughs> now in this dance, which I selected you for you, you will see me do this. <laughs> means that once upon a time the ancient god Siva had a beautiful daughter who one day went walking through the forest where she met an elephant but a sorcerer who lurked nearby cast a spell whereupon the beautiful daughter turned into the elephant and the elephant turned into the beautiful daughter, and the sorcerer turned home, only to be greeted by his wife with these words, where have you been all day? And the sorcerer replied, lo, I have been wreaking vengeance. <laughs>
but some pretty creatures are smiling from the bleachers. See how they're taking his mind off the game. Lucky McNeil, ain't it a shame? Keeping your mind on a game, not the game. America. Mr. Gorgeous America will test his freak and agility against none other than the Purple Wasp. Ladies and gentlemen, step right inside now for the wrestling match of the age. Absolutely the greatest attraction at the county fair. Ready to begin right away. Ladies and gentlemen, in this corner we have the Greek champion, Hercules Tragus, and his opponent, the great sensation, Gorgeous America. <laughs> All right, boys. Now, you both know the rules of wrestling. I don't want unnecessary rough. If I say break, I want you to break and break clean. I don't want any kicking, no biting, no gouging, no punching. Now, shake hands. Stop. Wait a while. Wait a while. That's the now shake hands and maybe the best man win. The best man. All right. Out of the ring. I say, we're going to rest. Just a moment, I'll be right with you. <laughs> I 
take it easy. Demand to see for dual temp refrigerators, electric ranges. Don't you bother me. <laughs> now in this dance, which I selected to you for you, you will see me do this. That merely means that once upon a time the ancient god Siva had a beautiful daughter. Who one day went walking through the forest. Where she met an elephant. But a sorcerer who lurked nearby cast a spell. Whereupon the beautiful daughter turned into the elephant 
And the elephant turned into the beautiful daughter. And the sorcerer turned home. Only to be greeted by his wife with these words. Where have you been all day? And the sorcerer replied, Lo, I have been wreaking vengeance. Whereupon his wife replied, That's not the only thing you reek of, you drunkard. Which brings us to the next movement. Now, in this dance, which I selected you for you, you will see me do this. They made it. Who made it? The people who make the amusements, they made it. What's an amusement? Amusement? Amusement's not it. It's a, it's everything around here is an amusement. Daddy, it's Daddy, is that door over there with the sign <coughs> on the top, is that an amusement? No, darling, that's a... You know perfectly well what that is. Oh, look, Daddy, the people are shooting. <laughs> what are they shooting? They're shooting ducks. Real ducks? No, make-believe ducks, darling. Why do they make-believe the ducks? They don't make-believe the ducks. The people make-believe the ducks are ducks. The people don't want to be ducks. They make believe the ducks are ducks. But, Daddy, if the ducks are ducks, why do people make believe the ducks? Because they're not made the deal. The people make the ducks who make the people. The people who are known the ducks will come. The ducks stop the people. <laughs> Let's go home. I want to go on the first. All right, we'll I go, want the... to go on the first. All right, we'll go on the first. I want to go on the first. All right, we'll go on the first. All right, all right. All right. All right. All right. Let's go home. I'm going to go on the shoot the shoot. You can't go on the shoot the shoot. It, 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 it makes you scared. How do you know it does? Because uh, I was on one and I was scared. But Daddy, if people get scared, why do they go on the shoot the shoot? Because people are crazy and they like to be scared. Are you crazy? No, of course I'm not crazy. <laughs> then why did you go on it? <laughs> All right, I'm crazy. No, I want to be crazy and go no, on it too. You can't be crazy. You're too young to be crazy. Why? You don't know it's a dangerous thing. It goes way up in the air. And then it comes down. Then you fast, you feel that your stomach is going to burst out. Oh, and then everybody thinks they're going to be killed. And they all scream. Ah! Ah! And then it goes into a dark alley. Really dark. And it's all seen all kinds of faces. And then the long hand comes out and grabs it. And you scream. Ah! He is crazy. Hey, Bob, do you feel all right? I feel fine. I thought you were I am tired. I'm tired and I'm hungry and I want you to go home. You're hungry, Daddy? Want to eat my hot dog? Get I some of my ice cream, Daddy. I just want it. I want some food. Oh, is it this food? Of course not. Well, what is it? Food. Then eat it. This food. <laughs> Aren't you ashamed? Ashamed? Of course. You're both. You've been very cruel to you, old man. Why? You should be ashamed. Both of you. Give me a hot dog without any mustard. Oh, is that the way you want it, Daddy? Oh, bye, Daddy. Oh, 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 Thank you. 
America. All right, boys. Now, you both know the rules of wrestling. I don't want unnecessary rough. If I say break, I want you to break and break clean. I don't want any kicking, no biting, no gouging, no punching. Now Come shake hands. Here. Stop. Wait a while. Wait a while. Not your turn. Now shake hands and maybe the best man win. The best man. All right. Another <laughs> ring. I say, we're going to rest. Just a moment, I'll be right with you. Ladies and gentlemen, for the wrestling match of the age, you are going to see absolutely and positively the greatest single attraction at the county fair. We are presenting tonight that one and only Mr. Gorgeous America. Mr. Gorgeous America will test his strength and agility against none other than the Purple Wasp. Ladies and gentlemen, step right inside now for the wrestling match of the age. Absolutely the greatest attraction at the county fair. Ready to begin right away. Ladies and gentlemen, in this corner we have the Greek champion, Hercules Tragus, and his opponent, 
great sensation, gorgeous America. All right, boys. Now, you both know the rules of wrestling. I don't want unnecessary rough. If I say break, I want you to break and break clean. I don't want any kicking, no biting, no gouging, no punching. Now Come shake hands. Here. Stop. Wait a while. Wait a while. Not your turn. Now shake hands and maybe the best man win. The best man. All right. Another <laughs> ring. I say, we're going to rest. Just a moment, I'll be right with you. blend of song, dance, and comedy takes you to a county fair. What they call, hear me as I call. One week in the year, you know, when the fair is near, we go. Come along, gather round, and we'll all go to town. The fair is here. He'll take us there to the county fair. Oh, 
Oh, no, no, ladies and gentlemen, I just have a signal of entering into the club. Is that wonderful, that funny man, the man you all see and love, that funny man that you've ever seen, Joe Jolly. <laughs> say hello, Joe, say hello. Oh, how are you, Penny? <laughs> Listen, I want you to say something. Say something about the show. Well, you'd rather say something about our beer. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I want you to all know that Joe is under no obligation whatsoever to praise our beer. Joe, you're on your own. <laughs> well, <laughs> Blob beer is the finest beer in the world. Drink Blob beer at breakfast, dinner, and supper, and in between. Bathe in Blob beer. Brush your teeth in Blob beer. There's no beer like Blob beer. It says here. Goodbye, Betty. Thank you so much, Joe. I think that was just wonderful of you to say that to me. Thank you, Joe Jolly. Hello? Mm, yes, this is Fanny Flipper this. Uh-huh. Well, thank you. Thank you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> thank you. Oh, thank you. That's just wonderful. Thank you. Mm, thanks. Uh, huh? The sponsor? Mr. Blub. Oh, yes, Mr. Blub. How are you? What? They're not selling any beer? It's my fault. Listen, maybe you wouldn't like to drink iodine with a head on it either. Well, why don't you drink it? All right. They're listening out there. Hello? Who's this? John Jones? Yes, this is Fanny. Mm-hmm. What? You listen to me every night, all night long? Your wife left you because she's jealous of me. What? You're being evicted from your house because you play the radio all night? Oh, it's too... Your children have left you, too? You can't work because you're up all night listening to me. Oh, isn't that sweet? What? You want to come over and see me personally? Wonderful, wonderful. I'll be right here. All right, John. That's fine. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, I wish you were all here with me this evening. But in our midst, we have that lovely and lovely dashing star of the absolutely and positively the greatest single attraction at the county fair. We are presenting tonight... That one and only Mr. Gorgeous America. Mr. Gorgeous America will test his strength and agility against none other than the Purple Wasp. Ladies and gentlemen, step right inside now for the wrestling match of the age. Absolutely the greatest attraction at the county fair. Ready to begin right away. Ladies and gentlemen, in this corner we have the Greek champion, Hercules Tragus, and his opponent, Great sensation, gorgeous America. <laughs> All right, boys. Now, you both know the rules of wrestling. I don't want unnecessary rough. If I say break, I want you to break and break clean. I don't want any kicking, no biting, no gouging, no punching. Now, Come shake hands. Minute. Stop. Wait a while. Not your turn. Now shake hands and maybe the best man wins. The best man. All right. Out of the ring. I say, we're going to rest. Just a moment, I'll be right with you. <laughs> Watch the hands. 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 Wat